We have good news. MacGyver's coming back. Yeah! Here at PsyQ, we are massive fans of MacGyver, not just for the 80s hairstyles, but also because MacGyver makes engineering accessible to everyone. MacGyver is a resourceful and ingenious agent who improvises his way out of sticky situations by using everyday items like Q-tips and a Swiss army knife and a piece of duct tape. Having a primetime TV character who obviously loves engineering is such a good thing. It's like the CSI effect. Now when CSI, the hit TV series about forensic science, hit our screens, there was this huge spike in the interest in forensic science, the number of people enrolling in forensic science courses in college, and the amount of demand for forensic science jobs. And that's a good thing. We hope now that MacGyver is going to do the same thing when all of this new generation grow up watching MacGyver do really cool things with everyday objects, we hope that they'll be inspired to do the same. We're seeing a bit of a rebirth in MacGyver type activities with things like Maker Faire becoming so popular and awesome engineering type YouTube channels like The King of Awesome and Ava Fruit, both awesome channels that I reckon you should check out. The MacGyver effect is so potentially powerful that the National Academy of Engineering recently ran a competition called The Next MacGyver. We did a video previously about the Next MacGyver contest and how us at PsyQ were actually the winners of that contest. We hope that this new version of MacGyver is going to do for engineering what shows like ER and Grey's Anatomy did for medicine. The showrunner for the new MacGyver series is Peter Lenkov, who's the current showrunner of Hawaii Five-O, so we know that this MacGyver is going to be equally awesome. It stars Lucas Till of the X-Men series as the title character MacGyver, previously played by Richard Dean Anderson. You might notice that Lucas is a little bit younger than Richard Dean Anderson of the 1980s version. That's because this version of MacGyver is going to explore MacGyver's childhood and youth and how that turned him into the MacGyver that we know and love from the 80s. Let's have a quick look at the new MacGyver trailer. Everything I need is right in front of me. I'm, I'm building a strategic task force of the best and the brightest. I want you to be a part of it. So here at PsyQ to celebrate MacGyver coming back to our television screens, we're going to show you this little MacGyver trick that you can use in your home or office. So if you guys work in an office and you've brought soup for lunch, you know the common conundrum of not having a way of heating that stuff up. So we're going to show you how to make a bowl out of nothing but stuff that you would find in every kitchen, a paper plate and a couple of plastic forks. Step one, get your paper plate. Step two, fold up the four corners. Step three, use the plastic forks to secure the corners in place. Now you have a bowl that is completely liquid proof and can be used to heat up any sort of liquid you like. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.